I finally got my last carburetor in and it is identical to the one that I ordered. How about that? That makes things easier. However, these other ones are plenty, plenty good enough. Uh, I don't have one out. I mean, you've seen with, from the old videos that, or the other ones, all I had to do was clip that wire off uh, that the, the throttle controlled that lever and then it was fine this this one here I did get it started but I'm having troubles keeping it running so I got to work with that one some more that would have been what part three <laughs> so pretty straightforward um, Road King advised me to buy some really good uh, gas hose because that the Chinese stuff that comes with the kits rots away quick, but you know, eventually I'm going to buy a roll for the garage here because I'm going through it all the time. I this was in this kit and it looks like better stuff. I'm not too concerned about these because they're being sold, and whoever buys them down the road can worry about that. But for now, I'm just using the line that uh, has come with the kits. So, like I say, when I get around to it, and remember, I'll order online a roll of different size hoses and just have it on hand so I don't have to run to the parts store every time. And I'm going to replace this one. Actually, these don't look that bad. They're pretty limber yet, so I think they'll be fine. This one I'll replace because... It's wore out up here. Maybe just clip the end off. I don't know. Uh, careful. That's your new one. Right then. Let's see what uh let's see what happens here. I just about put the old carburetor back on. <laughs> I had that hose put on that one. Then I realized what I was doing. And then I thought, you know. Maybe I need to change a gas line. It's There's a siphon on the gas, and it keeps coming out of there, and I don't like that. So I thought, well, at least I'll drain the gas. And look at that junk. And I see some water in there, too. So could be that, you know, that's still good. But because this saw requires a lot more to get to the carburetor you got to take the handle you got to take all that stuff off and it's not hard you know i think i'll just put the uh the new one on i have it i didn't pay much for it at all and then i'll i'll clean that one again because it seems like this one once i got the carburetor clean and put it back together it ran great for about 44 seconds and just long enough to get water in the gas in the carburetor again maybe perhaps so I'm gonna try to clean out that tank a little bit and maybe I'll throw a little bit of fresh gas in there and swish it around and get her smelling minty fresh no you know every time I take this saw apart I start putting it back together I always forget something I had it together this far and I forgot to put the choke little pull tab thing out of there and I, of course you know take the cover back off pull the carburetor out some put it back on there got back this far again and then I see this over here so I gotta do it again uh, I suppose I better go out and start that McCulloch so when I go back to working on that one in this series, do I call it Michigan Chainsaw Massacre part number 5-3, 3-B, 4-A-B-C, A-4? I don't know. This one... You know, I, I don't know, with, with these cheaper home-grade saws, I don't know 
from new what they would sound like how responsive are they and, and things like that because it, it's not very responsive and I have adjusted the uh, the high and the low screws and I, I got it about as best as I can get it <coughs> yep uh, now you take my old Husqvarna or that uh, steel and man those things sound pretty angry when they're running Let's see what we can't get this one going. I don't know if it's in the frame. I got my phone leaned up against this thing. Just take my word for it. It runs. It's, it's flooded. I probably didn't need to prime it. It's been an hour since I started it, but I don't know this saw that well. So we got working, 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 kind of working, not worked on yet. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. Huh? One, two, three, four, five. One. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was working on five saws. One was already going, which made six. So the green ones, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, those are all mine. So I get to keep the monies for it. But this one and that one, I split with my brother once it sold. <sighs> and I have my steel down there in the orange box and this one sitting out because I'm still working on getting someone to cut this tree down. Now my neighbor down the street, he worked. There goes Trevin. Uh, he used to work for a, a tree guy, and uh, he said, give him a call. He'll probably come out and just limb that thing down for like 250 bucks, and then you clean up the mess. I said, how can I handle that? So I got my saws out. Then the neighbor across the street from him rented a lift to trim up the trees in his yard. He's got a bunch of oak trees way down there. You can see them. And uh, he said he's going to rent a bigger lift. And I said, well, I'll go in half with you on it. We can come over here and get this one gone. And then my oak tree back up over top of the garage really does need to be trimmed up. So that's what I plan on doing. Looks like Trevin got his go-kart going again. That thing flies, man. I rode that around the neighborhood, and she goes pretty good. That was kind of an abrupt end, wouldn't you say? Um, I guess so.